Well, um, okay, uh, my name is Garrett Shanauer. Actually, uh, I've got 13, 13 old custom vans, and this one just seems to be everybody's favorite. Um, I call it the Zomboogie van uh, because I brought it back from the dead. Um, when I got it, it had running boards and white walls and a different set of crappy chrome rims on it. Um, I did the sport mirrors. This visor was candy apple red uh, about a month and a half ago. Um, I put the air dam on the front. Uh, I did the, the dead eye headlights in it. Okay, and, uh, like it had running boards on it, like I had mentioned before. Um, and these, I was actually going to throw these side pipes away. And um, I cut six inches out of them and shortened them and put them on here. And then uh, uh, I was actually at a junkyard, an old Mopar junkyard, and a guy was making a joke with me about these wheels. And he said, I got a nice set of Kragers, I'll sell you cheap. And I went over to look at them, and these were what was there. And uh, <clears throat> so I bought them off them for five dollars each. And he didn't know what I was going to do with them. I told him I had a, I had a plan. So um, I did the vintage style uh, Grant steering wheel. It's actually they still make the gold steering wheel. Yeah, I'm actually going to be tinting the windows uh, uh, yellow. Um, yeah, I got a buddy that does window tint. Um, this mural actually is going to have a zombie crawling out of it. Since it's already baked, I won't feel bad destroying it. Um, the mural is actually in decent shape on the other side of the van. Um, my brother gave me these uh, uh, body boards from an EMS. Uh, so there's like uh, what they would they would haul you out if you were in in a medical situation in a house or something. They'd haul you out. And I figured it kind of went with the whole zombie boogie van vibe. Instead of it being uh, surfboards, I'd put those body boards up there. Yeah, there's an old, old nasty vent matches the van. <laughs> and one of my favorite things on this van is is actually it was. Uh, done in Akron, Ohio. The van came from Canada, but it's done in Akron, Ohio, and this is Vans by Duran. And uh, the sticker actually rusted into the metal. Wow. So I will clear coat that. That's the only thing I, I feel like needs to be clear coated on the van, just to keep that pretty and pristine. And I did a old crusty Krager spare tire. Um, this, is my, this is my strap I used to open the door. That's this is like I said. This is the most ominous-looking mural I've ever seen on a uh, on a custom van. It's uh, it's uh, you know dead burn-up trees and an old creepy creek and and uh, it's not you know a beautiful eagle and a sunset like they usually are. Um, but I even got my my out of candy uh, <laughs> hotel light. But it's pretty much just straight Survivor on the inside. I, re I replaced all the lenses in the lights and the sconce lights and in the cabinet um, with a uh, um, uh, fluorescent light diffuser and I cut them all out and then painted them with a candy apple green. Um, and then I got my shirt there. It says it's, uh, it's a van thing. You wouldn't get it, but your daughter might. But it, oh wait, for, for, your, for your female viewers that might be offended, you have to look. The van is actually hers, she's got the keys. So the, the van thing that, that your daughter might get is that vans are just cool. Yeah, it's just an ice box and then uh, it's got the, the sink and everything. I, I got all that, that was all frozen up and then and I got it to work. Um, I got all the lights on the inside to work except for one. It's got a short and that's why they're hanging down trying to find the short. But other than that, I put a fan in the back and just kind of made it livable. It's a flip and fold back seat too. So it, it actually folds up into a, uh, a bench for the back so that uh, you, know, you can hold, hold people in the back. But I left the old crusty seats in it. and. I believe it's a Grand Systems conversion. Um, it, it seems to be the part, um, like everybody, uh, everybody that's had the one of those uh, conversions has uh, said that's probably what it is. Um, 
like I said, that visor was candy apple red. I, I painted it. Um, I, I, uh, it was candy apple red. I scotch brighted it, and then I put red oxide primer on it, then black paint, and then I went over it with some green to kind of make it look like it was on the van. Um, it's got uh, green LED lights underneath. Like I said, and I did the uh, old busted up chin spoiler underneath the front. And then I did the, uh, the black eye headlights. Uh, well, you know, actually, um, when you buy them, they don't line up in the notches. And that's why they're actually crooked right now. And I just haven't had time to change them. They're bright enough to where you can see, but they're aimed, right now they're aimed up in the sky. So, so right now they, right now I can say they honestly, they suck. But, uh, but you can tell that, that once they're set, they'll be okay. Then my girlfriend, she bought me uh, the uh, Walking Dead um, patio lights. And then my buddy gave me this sticker. <laughs> But it's just been a fun van. I actually bought it to drive in the winter so I'd have a van to drive in the winter time and, and still basically van all year round. And my girlfriend was like, you can't do that, it'll kill the van. So, And the more I kept it, the more I started working on it, the more I started finding the things that I really liked about it. So, um, I don't know, it just kind of grew on me, like a fungus, I guess, you know? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, we've got some marketing things we're going to do with it to try to kind of boost the notoriety. But it's on Instagram is a, a Zomboogie Van on Instagram too. People can check out the progress on it.